Hi there. Welcome to the lecture 8 of Web Information Systems class. Today we're going to talk about project planning. Understanding why we need to do this project, right? What, what benefits it brings to us, uh, how we should do the project and therefore the plan. So let's just start with why we need to do project. So project gives us an ability to learn by doing hands-on rather than just reading. As you all know, web technologies are changing every year. So it's better to get a hands-on at least on some of those technologies and solve some real problems because that gives us an opportunity to explore various pieces of technologies which are out there in today's world and better prepare us for solving the problems because in the professional world, it's important to learn how we go about solving the problems. So it gives us an opportunity to self-learning as well. And it teaches us an important lesson for professional life, such as planning, how do you plan a certain task, time management, how do you coordinate between your team members, how do you execute a successful project. So what is really a project uh, going to be? Or how does it look like, right? So therefore, we need to understand for whatever problem that we are solving, what is our goal? So that's our first step. Uh, so in that project, for example, a project is about uh, customer relationship management. Now, in that project, what if I write down this is my goal? Now, a goal can be really big. However, what is the motivation for it? And what is the specific problem that we are solving under that bigger goal is what is important. And we can call that as that this is a clear description of the problem. And here are the clear objectives of the system that I'm developing and that I'm going to achieve in this project. So it is important to start writing down earlier in your project so that you, you get to understand that this is my goal. Here's a specification with respect to the goal uh, that I'm going to produce for um, my system and is my goal realistic? It gives us an ability to evaluate that as well because if, if given the time limit, uh, uh, let's consider one month or like four weeks, is it realistic? Can I achieve my objectives during this period? Because a half cooked results at the end of your project with like really super ambitious uh, goal and objectives in your project is not really great um, as compared to a really well presented, well executed uh, project with the proper objectives, proper execution and so on. So this is how we approach an understanding of a project, starting with the project goal. So once we understand this is the, uh, the project goal that I want to achieve, how we do that? So let's look at the thinking which has been placed um, in software development. There has been traditional waterfall model. It is an obsolete model. However, it gives us a mental image of what is the process flow, how we think about designing a project. So for small projects, it may be uh, applicable. However, um, in today's uh, world of technology uh, development, there we need to think uh, more advanced approaches, uh, such as that agile methodology where you do fast, faster iterative prototyping. And there are many more software engineering models uh, which have been developed, such as fountain model or spiral model and so on. You can explore um, those various models uh, from this link. Uh, you can study that further. However, our objective here is to see this process flow. So the very first uh, thing that you start us with the analysis of the, your project goal. That what is it? What is the problem that you're solving? What are the requirements specification for my system? Given the project goal, you analyze and you come up with this a specification for your system that you're developing. Then you come up with a design that what is the architecture of my system that I'm going to build. You come up with an implementation uh, architecture. So implementation architecture should give even further detailed version of the design um, architecture that you have. 
and then from implementation then you go to the testing and integration phase for various modules because you may have a big system and it may have various components in it and then the operation and maintenance phase uh, which may not be uh, relevant um, in the current class um, because you will be uh, demonstrating and after that if you want to continue the project then yes you will have to be in the maintenance phase as well uh, but uh, we will come to that later during the class so having this as your thinking in designing your project and executing the implementation of the, your project uh, now let's look at what are specific things that we are going to do so it is better to start your project report and here's the template uh, guide it ha it will help you specifically define what you are supposed to do what you are actually implementing and what you are actually evaluating or testing against and it will give you full control over your project this kind of planning is extremely important from, from your project's perspective so for example in your goals you are in, you should be able to answer the questions what is the problem what are the challenges which motivate this uh, world what are the advantages that this uh, problem uh, solution in terms of in your system the new system that you're building is going to bring the goals can be broader uh, then obviously as we mentioned in the earlier the goals can be bigger however your objectives can be very specific for designing of your project so understanding very clear goals motivation for that the clear description of your uh, problem and the objectives corresponding to that for your system that you can demonstrate that you can um, measure as an outcome that your system produces a certain outcome so you need to have specific objectives and then you have approach where you discuss about specific steps so in that you will be having your design architecture you will have your implementation architecture diagrams you will have milestones and the schedule of milestone is extremely important that is the reason why we have made it start start because when you have specific milestones you are ensuring that your project in the long term is able to achieve the objectives that uh, you have put up so let's look at now in the next step as uh, how we go about this milestones planning yeah and also um, in in that milestone at the end of it yes we, we need to have evaluation of the system because for example just as a naive example if you have a system of calculating uh, certain numbers and if your uh, certain numbers are producing 3 plus 2 equals to 6 that is wrong so every system has to be evaluated for whatever task it was supposed to do so we need to test we need to evaluate whatever data and the results it is producing and then in the, this project tem uh, report template uh, you should start early on so that you you can bring the structure in your mind of the things that you are doing so now let's look at the schedule of those milestones so it is sort of an important check important check on your project progress it gives us understanding of what we will be able to accomplish and in at you know, what point of time so you need to understand for designing the project milestones what are the clear specification of my project what is it that i'm going to achieve by my system further from the bigger system what are the individual components that i should learn so from the bigger specification of the bigger system we need to now focus on the smaller parts of it because we cannot uh, produce a really big system uh, just like that we need to focus on the smaller problems so in that design of the bigger system what are the smaller and smaller pieces of the bigger system and understanding those project components is extremely important also it's important that you when you have this project planning you need to also understand where, where you are going to date uh, where you are going to get the data from uh, uh, also 
manually testing and validating the data that yes we have that availability and you know it will be um, going in a module one it will be result will be coming out of that module one and that will be fed into module two and so on so whole this information flow in your entire system is going to be important and understanding each of those pieces is also very important then secondly you need to have access to all the technologies that you are going to utilize in your project uh, then comes the uh, point of time estimation so that's where the milestone the role of milestone comes in right that you need to estimate uh, how much time i'm going to spend on developing each of these modules and also if you have a, a team which is likely in our uh, class project which you are going to have a team uh, so you need to coordinate among your uh, team members uh, you need to divide the work and for each of the modules you need to estimate the time for development and testing uh, and lastly it is very important that you keep certain buffer time towards the end of your project because there may be unexpected circumstances therefore again reminding you that starting with that uh, report template earlier is very important because that will keep you on track and so the project milestones too uh, and towards the end, let's not rush towards the end to finish up everything. So better planning, better execution, better results. That should be the goal. Um, and then once we have those milestones, then comes the point of execution. So ensuring uh, we have a well-planned design um, in with us because that's going to help. Well-thought design is going to help uh, systematic implementation. And in implementation, yes, you can experiment. Uh, as we were discussing uh, when we we're discussing the software engineering models um, and it's, it's important to fail early and fail fast because you know, when you are experimenting it's good to experiment the, between various choices for example am I going to use a quick sort or a merge sort so th these are the kind of choices you might be making when you will be developing individual modules in your bigger project and when you will be uh, making the choices uh, for various things in various implementation uh, ways in, in for each of your modules that time it will be important uh, to follow this principle and then ensuring because you need to also ensure uh, that if that you keep check with the milestone timeline if you're not accomplishing your task uh, with respect to your milestones uh, timeline then it's going to be tr uh, trouble towards the end because a big project success really depends upon the good execution of the smaller steps and therefore we need to ensure that we are uh, making the implementation choices uh, quicker earlier implementing them faster and ensuring that we are adhering with our milestone timeline so from the uh, uh, one of the slides I, stum I had stumbled upon on web uh, which had a very good advice on understanding why the, uh, certain projects um, will be successful while some of the projects will not be successful and there are s fundamental um, things here that one need to, one should pay attention to um, for example you may not have enough resources that means you did not plan earlier about uh, your data for example we were talking about data you're we talking about the access to technology and so on you did not have enough time that means you were too ambitious and you did not um, thought about your project planning in a systematic manner um, then unclear specification that's the very first thing that we discussed that you need to really specify your objective of the system and if you have that it will ensure that you are sticking with the specification uh, while you're implementing and that's what you are delivering or that's what you are committing to deliver and that's what makes a, a project success um, happen and so change uh, changes in the scope so as you are uh, moving along the project for example if the project is more about innovation it's more about uh, uh, research oriented then in that case your scope might be changing however if you uh, change the scope too often then in that case you might not be able to achieve the 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 goals and the objectives that you set very early uh, during the initial phase of your project so that's again creates a challenge then disagreement among stakeholders so as we discuss team coordination is very important you need to talk to each other frequently ensuring 
um, what one is implementing is uh, should is integrable with uh, uh, the another person's uh, uh, implemented uh, uh, modules and so on and then back plan as we already discussed if you are sticking with the proper milestones and proper uh, design of your system and ensuring that you meet the dead, uh, deadline of your uh, milestones then in, in that case it might not happen but if you do not then uh, yes bad planning might lead to failure of your project and then lack of project man management like as we discussed uh, it, it covers all the things uh, designing of your project ensuring the project milestone is uh, milestones are being achieved over time ensuring you understand the problem not just one person but the entire team understand the uh, the project that what is it the project goal is about right here bec um, because here in this case you all will have at least understanding of what each of the module is uh, delivering to the next module and what is the overall system uh, is about what is it the it is going to deliver this will again help so lack of that project management also causes uh, challenges so they were the uh, causes they were the tips for avoiding those failures but here are the tips for ensuring success um, that you create a realistic plan the, in the very first slide that we were discussing um, we were talking about this this is the goal realistic is my project going to be realistic in the given time limit so it's it's important it's very really important at the start of your project to in fact evaluate that whether I'm going to achieve this uh, goal uh, this project in timely manner or not then again uh, consensus on project outcomes yes so you need to um, and you need to test and evaluate um, obviously that will help you understand whether the outcomes that you have promised are being achieved or not and then ensuring that yeah you have a reasonable uh, resource requirements so that's why better planning helps because that helps you figure out um, that yeah, I do have access to this technology. I'm going to do this project in uh, this particular module in my project would be needing a particular type of data, a particular type of technology, and I do have access to it. I do have um, access to uh, the resources that I'll be needing to implement and use those technologies or data. I, all these things matter. Therefore, a good planning, a good project plan will always make you um, and will ensure or will help you achieve good outcomes for your project in terms of success and then so uh, build the best team you can and take care of them so in this case yes you need to have harmony and good coordination among your team members uh, and then ensuring good communication between your team members is very important it should not happen that you guys came up to design this project and uh, discussed uh, at the start of the project let's say it's a four week project and you're starting in the first week you all discuss and then for next week you have just forgotten and then third week or fourth week you get on to the project and start doing that's not a good way to execute a project so ensure you have a good informa uh, information flow among your stakeholders you, you communicate well uh, whatever changes you bring to the project you are continuously ensuring to contribute to your project it's really important and the uh, last thing is yes you have to be a manager and the leader leader is not someone who just instructs others leader is someone who leads by actually executing by actually doing the things and manager you we need to have a manager role too in the sense that you are clearly communicating you are clearly coordinating among your team members in ensuring that project succeeds because at the end of the day what matters is the project success so you guys need to coordinate among your team members well you guys can look at the slides I have uh, put the sources here where I took this uh, slides from and these are very uh, good tips uh, to keep in mind uh, and then comes the final part that mm, yes at the end of the day how is the success being determined for your project it is based on the project deliverables and the evaluation that's going to happen so project deliverables in our project we are going to be demo of your uh, system that you're developing and uh, the report so again i have put this in the right uh, red color uh, that we don't want you to um, do this reporting at the last minute rather it should be early on as we discussed uh, uh, in the initial slides that that report template guide would help you fix the specification fix the implementation 
pathways and fix the uh, the outcome that you're going to give or to show right because they are going to be very specific so being specific helps when you are doing anything related to computing right so therefore a computing system uh, would be very much in good shape if you have clear specification and clear design and clear implementation and clear evaluation or in testing as we discussed uh, in the project report templates and so you can look at this uh, exemplary uh, presentation and reports uh, we're going to discuss uh, during the class as well um, where you can see how people are presenting their work and how they have reported their work um, however the most like we already gave you the report template earlier if you think that you can um, present your work um, in a more meaningful way in another format you're welcome to um, start in, along that line too and so in our evaluation uh, during the class we are going to uh, discuss uh, more in more detail uh, you are going to have 10 percent for your requirement analysis that how did you understand the problem whether you clearly defined it whether you clearly understood um, the 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 pieces of this whole puzzle then the design whether you have a systematic design of the system that you're going to implement um, and obviously the both design and implementation diagrams for the system architecture then your front end um, because for example if you go in the real world the first thing customers look at when you're looking at system is actually the user interface that's how you convey the thing the convey the information so this uh, front end and back end uh, we can discuss depending on the type of project as well uh, for example, if uh, some of you might be doing research oriented projects, then in that case, UI may not be uh, important, but maybe analysis may be extremely important, which is being backed up by the backend system. And then you can have 20% uh, uh, for the backend organization, and then you will have 30% for uh, successful output demo, and then we will have uh, obviously your class presentation where evaluators will be there and also. Uh, your peers would be there who will have opportunity to ask you questions too. So overall, I would like to summarize again, um, a good planning and execution of a project depends upon how you have thoroughly thought about clarity in your problem. Whether you have very much clear motivation of what is the project goal that you're going to achieve, what are the clear specification in that, what is your plan for executing uh, the the design of the system and implementation of the system in a timely manner so asking these questions very clearly and towards the end again very important testing and evaluation of your system because if you have built an entire system but if it is not producing the things what it was supposed to as you specified in your project outcomes then it's a it's a challenge it's it's not a it's not a full recipe so thank you very much for uh, um, being uh, through the, all the slides with me and uh, we will discuss more uh, details in the class with some more examples of uh, specific projects thank you